Taffy, you ever smash the like button? All the time, pal. Sure. I, I'm sorry, say it, lift it up a little bit. Gaff could have killed Rachel. Why didn't he? Exactly. So there's some stuff going on here, too. Is Gaff a Republican? Yeah, I, I, I don't know. I don't so know. this gets into like some really deep stuff that you'll find on the Internet. Um, Gaff, his eyes are almost as striking in this movie as yeah. as Rucker Howard's. And Ruck, yeah. I'm pretty sure Rucker Howard's a natural. Pretty yeah. sure Edward James almost is wearing contacts in this. Well, movie. we know we know he is because uh, we know what he looks like in real life. Yeah, I mean, I, I, I don't really remember, but I, I watched Battlestar Galactica. I never went like, oh, my God, that guy's eyes are amazing. Exactly, you know? so, exactly. But, um, yeah, so, so and eyes are huge in this movie. The symbolism of eyes and eyes being the windows of the soul and, uh, and the replicant's eyes are always very vibrant. Um, Brian James, the actor who played um, uh, Leon, in fact, when he passed away, uh, a good friend of mine who knows how much I love this movie, like, was like, you know, Leon's Leon's not with us anymore. And I was like, oh, you're killing me because mm-hmm. I had not heard yet. But uh, I knew exactly what he meant as soon as he said that. Um, but, yeah, he has blue eyes um, just naturally, I think. Very vibrant eyes. Um, oh, there we go. I can see you again. Thanks. The sun was fading. I was using the natural light. So, um, yeah, it's uh, it's astounding. The uh, uh, well, there's this big thing with Rachel's eyes as well. Right. So mm-hmm. the the actress, Sean Young, has I say brown, but some people say hazel to brown eyes. Uh, but it's clear when she's taken the VK test that they're green on the screen. And this becomes a big deal in the sequel, 2049. So um, I don't want to ruin it for anybody, but there's a big controversy about Rachel's eye color comes up. So it's actually one of my, it was one of my more watched videos at one point because I when I go into detail. I'll, I'll put a link in the description of the, for self-serving purposes of the video that I taught, where I talk about Rachel's eye color. But um, yeah, it's, it's amazing. And when we see like the owl that's in uh, the VK interrogation chamber, for lack of a better word, <laughs> uh, in the, uh, in the Tyrell, Corp- the Tyrell Corporation pyramid, we see the owl's eyes. We see that reflection, that animalistic reflection we talked about mm-hmm. in um, 2001 in our talk about 2001. So we'll use some footage for that. We'll refer that. But but the uh, the ape-like creatures that are proto-humans have that reflection in their eyes, just like the leopard does. Right? It's animal. It's a, it's an animal. It's a non-human thing. Right? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So when we see Rachel in Deckard's apartment, that same effect is used. Yep. yep. But for a moment, for just a moment, when Rachel, when he's at the sink and he's cleaning up and he's mm-hmm, counting mm-hmm. his teeth, yep, and yep. Uh, <laughs> after Leon beat him up and Rachel kills Leon, um. Rachel says, would you hunt me, you know, if I, if I ran? And he says, no, I owe you one. But then he goes behind her and says, but someone would. Yes. And he looks and you, for a minute, you can see a reflection in his, in Harrison Ford's eyes. So there's another for the chalk up in the category. Mm. Decker could be a replicant mm, mm. for those who are arguing that point. That's one of the major points they argue. So, yeah. And and yeah, so almost well back to the original thought threat was almost is almost a replicant. He's injured, he's using a cane. Yes. Is that an affectation of a robot? Probably not. We're led to believe that like humans are are inferior to these robots. You know, at one point JF says, You why are you guys here? You guys are so perfect, you know. And that's how he knows they're robots, because mm-hmm. apparently. Earth is a slum. Mm, it's the wretched refuse. It's those of us who can't afford to go off world or aren't like beautiful enough or uh, healthy enough to be breeding stock or to continue the human race. Interestingly, there's there's the the blimp, which is constantly in, uh, issuing entreaties to join the off world colonies. It's strange that they would advertise uh, in this slum. Seems like they wouldn't. They, seems like they wouldn't want the type of people who would be living in Los Angeles of 2019. 
why are they so adamant that they need like more people out there? You would think it would be like Elysium or whatever that movie was where it's, it's uh, you know, only the elites get to live up on the stay station. Everybody else has to stay down here. Yeah. 